Hello, my name is Aubrey Rodriguez, and I want to introduce you to my research article titled Wives and Husbands Cortisol Reactivity to Proximal and Distal Dimensions of Couple Conflict. I conducted this research with my co-author Gayla Margolin and several of our colleagues at the Family Studies Project at the University of Southern California. And we undertook this research because the couples who present for marital and family therapy often report feeling criticized or disrespected by their spouses. They report that this is a particularly upsetting and hurtful experience. And we wanted to understand the impact of marital criticism, specifically by studying spouses' bodily physiological stress response to being criticized. In order to do this, we assessed levels of the stress hormone cortisol in husbands and wives' saliva in response to marital criticism during a conflict discussion that was held in our lab. And one reason we were particularly interested in looking at couples' physiological stress response to criticism is that previous research has linked uh, marital distress and problems in marriages to spouses' physical and emotional health problems. And negative mar marital experiences, like feeling criticized, may trigger physiological responses that are ultimately linked to compromised health functioning over time. Of course, we recognize that the husbands and wives who seek therapy are not describing being hurt by a single critical remark or even a single difficult discussion. Rather, they're describing patterns of hurtful behavior. And this was an important consideration in our study because we recognize that the way that spouses respond to conflict and to their spouse's criticism is really likely to be influenced by their past experiences of conflict. For example, couples who have previous experience with very aversive conflict, perhaps even aggressive conflict, may view later conflict and criticism differently than those who haven't had a history of such aversive and aggressive experiences within their marriage. And we wanted to see whether couples' previous experience of marital aggression would alter their physiological responses to that immediate experience of criticism in the discussion. In order to look at some of these associations, we brought 95 couples from the Los Angeles community into a comfortable room in our lab at USC, and we tried to set the stage for these couples and their teenage child to talk about a current topic of disagreement for the family. We really asked couples to engage as they normally would in conflict at home to the extent possible, and then we videotaped these discussions and coded husbands' criticism of their wives as well as wives' criticism of their husbands during the discussion. Finally, we took samples of husbands and wives' saliva before and after the conflict to capture their physiological reactions. And we found that husbands whose wives were more critical had higher cortisol reactivity to the conflict. And this would suggest that they found their wives' criticism stressful enough to respond bodily to that experience. However, for wives, we found that only a small subset of wives responded physiologically to their husband's criticism, and it was particularly those wives who had experienced high levels of aggression in the past year within their marriage. So it appears that husbands are physiologically attuned to in-the-moment negative conflict behaviors that their wives exhibit, but for wives, their physiological responses to conflict seem to be driven by a combination of both in the moment and previous conflict experiences. And this has important implications for family therapy because the negative conflict behaviors that family therapists observe and deal with during treatment, like criticism, both on their own and in the context of broader relationship history, may affect spouses' physiological functioning and ultimately have consequences for their health. And when we as family therapists see a couple, we often ask them to describe those immediate reactions to the behaviors of their spouses. But we may also need to keep in mind that these reactions are driven both by what actually happened in the current conflict, as well as conflict history. And this may be particularly the case for wives. I want to thank you for listening and invite you to read our manuscript and to contact me to engage in further discussion about our research project and about exciting future directions for research and application.